winter is coming. All oh, the days are getting shorter. The nights are getting darker. No, are they really? No, not really. I think they're still the same, unless you live up in Alaska, uh, where the sun barely sets in the uh, summertime and barely comes out in the wintertime. But what I have a hard time wrapping my brain around is the fact that in the middle of January, and we know it's coming, the cold, the wind, and sometimes it's snowy, sometimes it's not in the front range in Denver, but what I have a hard time grasping is the fact that I could hit click, buy a plane ticket, and fly to the southern hemisphere and do a race in 80 degree temperatures. It's just, I've never done that before and I wanna try at some point. I don't know if it'll happen this winter. We shall see. Uh, we gotta get training, right? We gotta get out there in the dark. We gotta make sure our runs are lit up, which is what we're talking about today. All right, we're almost up the mountain here. Here we go, running at nighttime, I'm realizing. Well, if you're gonna talk about headlamps, you better film the vlog at night, but can you see me? I hope you can. I can't see the camera, so I'm just gonna talk here. I think we're gonna get it here, though. The Petzl Swift RL. It's this one, the one that's always hanging around my neck. I'm gonna try and not blind you by shining it at the camera, but the Petzl Swift RL is my favorite running headlamp. With respect to the, the weight, and here's some specs for the Petzl Swift RL on your screen, okay? It's my favorite one. Now, it's not the one that I would choose for a big ultra marathon race, you know, where you're running 100 miles, but it is my go-to daily running headlamp. Some incredible technology built into it, uh, where it, sense, it can sense the, the sun coming up, so it'll, it'll adjust the light automatically, depending on how bright the sun is in the morning, you know, if you're running at 4.30 a.m. and the sun starts coming up by, you know, 5.45 a.m., it'll automatically adjust. But question of the day, what is your strategy for training at night? Specifically, if you want to connect it to winter, that's great. And of course, what is your favorite running headlamp? My strategy, and I've said this before, but there's always new subscribers, and I just want to be very clear here, is that, um, I guess I'll mention first though, the Petzl Now Plus, N -A -N -A -N -A -N -A is that how you pronounce it? N-A-O Plus, it's this guy. It's definitely my longest battery life headlamp, okay? And all these are listed down below in the description in case you wanna learn more, pick one up. If you're getting ready for running in the winter time, uh, the Petzl Now Plus, love it. Partially, look at that blinking light in the back, okay? So cars, bikes, everything can see you coming up from behind, which is critical if you're running in an urban environment uh, for, for safety's sake, okay? So love the Petzl Now Plus. However, it's not my full strategy for running at night. My full strategy, as you all know, and hopefully you can see the camera here, boom, okay, I know that's gonna be really bright. So what I do, and I just love it. So this is the Ultra Aspire 800 Lumen 2.0. Actually, I take this is the 1.0. I don't have the 2.0 yet because this guy is built like a tank. It's, it's just like the day I bought it. I should mention, I've had all these headlamps for three years. Actually, I think this one four years, the Now Plus four years, and then the Petzl Swift RL maybe two and a half years. They just keep going. Oh yeah, and of course, they're all rechargeable through USB, so you don't have to buy batteries, which is amazing. Um, so this guy is it goes around the waist. This is called a waist belt uh, headlamp. So it shines right on my feet. So I don't have to, and this is my strategy here, let me just adjust the camera, is that I do not like when my shoulders are slouching down because I'm looking down at the ground to make sure I don't trip on rocks and roots when I'm out there on the trails. I wanna be, I want my eyes to be up. I wanna be looking up ahead of me I don't wanna be looking down at the ground. And because when you do that, you collapse in on your, on your breathing cavity just a little bit. And for me, I have noticed it can inhibit my breathing just a, just a smidge, especially late in a race when you're out there for a long, long time. So my strategy is a headlamp on the head to shine straight ahead. Let me just put it on its brightest set. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. I believe, and here's some more stats as far as the uh, Petzl Swift RL. I believe it can shoot forward about 80 <laughs> meters, which is pretty impressive. But this Ultra Aspire on the waist shines right in front of me. Well, also, it has technology built into the lamp, and let me just adjust the camera again here. It has technology built into the lamp 
so that it doesn't create that tunnel vision that sometimes you, you get with headlamps that go around your head. So it feels like you're just look, you just, the beam of light is just like straight ahead. So you can't see what's around you, you know, if to the right or the left of the trail, that's where this ultra aspire, um, waist belt comes in where it creates more of a, a broader or wider, uh, beam of light for you on the trail what they call their 3D lighting. So I hope that helps. That is today's vlog, talking about headlamps, waist belts, and I know there's, oh yeah, I also have these uh, black diamonds, but for some reason these are a little older and they take batteries. And of course, one of them is dead because it takes batteries. And who uses batteries these days? What's so nice is that we can recharge basically everything we own at this point. So I'm all about the rechargeable uh, headlamps. I love it. Um, but for you, uh, you know, you just got to discover what is, and for those that live in an urban environment, uh, maybe you could, you would care to share what's your strategy for running in the city, not just up here in the big mountains, but um, even though you have great street lighting, oftentimes in cities, you still need to be seen by the cars, by the trucks, by the buses, by the, you know, the cyclists, all of that as well well all right everyone thanks for tuning in we will toss it to um the winter running gear vlog winter running gear right here right here where i talk all about my winter running gear strategy um i think i made it a couple years ago right there right there right there all right seek beauty work hard and love each other see you tomorrow